Father, we thank you for this wonderful time that you have given us to gather in your name. Lord, it is your name that unifies us. It is your name that brings us together. It is your name that brings harmony. And it is your name that keeps us together. Oh, Jesus. Lord, when people are scattered on beliefs and other different ways of life, Lord, you have gathered us together under your name, oh Lord Jesus. And in the name there is victory, in the name there is blessing, in that name there is harmony, there is peace. In your name, Lord Jesus. So we come, Lord Jesus, in, in your presence. Because the word of God says, wherever two or three are gathered in your name, Lord, it is your promise that you are amidst us. So Father, we know for a fact that you are looking down on us right now as we worship you. Oh, ancient one, you were not comfortable with the angels singing praise that you came down to listen to the voice of imperfect men and their testimony saying you are holy you are holy you are holy and you are worthy you are worthy you are worthy lamb you are worthy Jesus thank you for giving us that song Lord Jesus today morning as we are entering into your presence entering into your inner court Help all of us who are gathering right now online and offline to sense your spirit, to sense your dealings. Let our spiritual senses be awakened to commune with you, Lord Jesus. The word of God says, kiss the sun that you may not perish. Oh, Lord, we kiss you, Lord Jesus. And we embrace you. Oh, come, let us adore him. Oh, come, let us adore him. Oh, come, let us adore him. Christ the Lord Oh come let us adore Him Oh come let us adore Him Oh come let us adore Ah! Oh. 
we won't be satisfied with anything ordinary we won't be satisfied at all we won't be satisfied we won't be satisfied with anything ordinary we won't be satisfied at all open up the sky lord hey open up songwriter is saying, Lord, open up the sky and fall down on us like rain, like fire. Because what we are seeking is not a blessing. We are seeking the one who blesses us. When we are saying we don't want blessing, that's because of 
a greater awareness a revelation of who this god is what we need is not something from him but himself one of the services earlier we said the statement the greatest promise that you can ever receive is his presence it is his presence that is the greatest promise it is not something from him when you receive his presence everything that you need to prosper in life comes in that package but we are not seeking him for the blessing even if the blessing doesn't come lord we need you we won't be satisfied with anything ordinary we won't be satisfied at all we won't be satisfied with anything ordinary we won't be satisfied at all we won't be satisfied with anything ordinary we won't be satisfied at all we won't be satisfied with anything ordinary we won't be satisfied at all Oh, open up the skies fall down like rain we don't want blessings we want you open up the skies fall down like fire we don't want anything but open up the sky open up the sky fall down like rain we don't want the blessings we want you open up the skies fall down like fires we don't want anything but you father we thank you for this wonderful time help us to realize help this generation to realize that it is you we need more than the breath that we breathe more than the air lord we need you lord more than anything else in this world even when times are shaking when seasons are chaotic when lives are at stake when everything around us is confusion and mayhem lord let us be able to, to sing with david lord jesus that my soul do not be disturbed hope in god for he is your light of the of your countenance and your god he is the light of my countenance and my god psalms 42 my soul do not be dis- disturbed do not be in despair hope in god for he is the light of your countenance and he is your god thank you jesus for the presence that you are showering on us today morning also Lord we pray for everyone who has been watching us meet their needs oh lord abundantly from your riches in heaven Lord we pray for the man of god who is standing with your word that whatever he received that give him a spirit of boldness to share it with clarity be with him lord 
be with his tongue lord anoint him with your oil bless him lord and bless us help us to receive the word in obedience and submission help us to listen to your word eagerly earnestly and help us to obey it lord everything we ask and pray in the name of jesus and everybody say amen 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 hallelujah what a wonderful day god is giving us we might be worshiping today from our homes but let me remind you wherever you are today morning when you call out the name of the lord when you're ready to serve him worship him today morning god is right there in your midst today when you are freely worshiping him today morning from your homes when you're raising your hands to him when you open your mouth and lift up his name the love of the lord is going to flourish over you it's going to shower upon you all those who call the name of the lord shall be saved yes today morning if you are really calling out his name the eternal love the care and the comfort of the lord is going to be with you today and it's not just today as your days go ahead as you're ready to move along with him you're going to experience the wonderful presence love and guidance of the lord hallelujah i truly believe that you enjoy the worship today morning when you worship the lord yes always remember to worship him out of your heart out of your soul out of your spirit for this is the kind of worship god wants so today morning when you're worshiping him when you're ready to receive his word yes god is there right in your midst and he's there just right now just right now he's there with you where two or three gather in my names i am in their midst said the lord and today morning yes we might be separated apart no in our home by homes we are separated apart only but by spirit when we gather together from wherever we are god says but two or three gather in my name i am there in their midst today god is in our midst hallelujah hallelujah okay uh see god genesis chapter 1 the first book of the bible the first verse of the bible says in the beginning god created in the beginning god created the heavens and the earth genesis starts with creation and in that creation yes god created you and me and when god created you and me definitely it was with a clear purpose many other times we are so wandered in this world we really do not know we do not know what to do more sometimes we are just really confused of what to do but when god plans out something when god really plans out something it is with a purpose today morning come on ask god what is the purpose god you created me what is the one thing that you want out of me or what is the thing that you have planned out of me god hallelujah so god in the beginning when you go come to genesis chapter 1 verse 26 you can see a plan that god is saying come on let's make man in our image let us make in our image and in our likeness this was a plan of god and it was not just a plan it was put forth into action if you read genesis 1:27 and 28 it says god created man in his image god created man in his image in the image of god he created him male and female he created them now listen this very important god blessed them and god said to them be fruitful and multiply and fill the earth and subdue it rule over the fish of the sea and over the birds of the sky and over every creeping thing on the earth see god just didn't create man but he was giving man a big authority 
not just authority or responsibility also amen okay now god created man and woman yes he put them in the garden of eden hallelujah and there were two trees there were two trees one was a tree of knowledge and the other one was a tree of knowledge of good and evil and god just told them one thing see you can eat from any of the trees any of the fruit of the trees but from one tree alone that is a tree of the knowledge of good and evil alone you should not eat you should not even touch it this was what god said and yes the days went by very happily but one day one day the serpent which is considered to be the most uh, craftiest animal that live the serpent one day came to eve she was in the garden adam was not there actually so he uh, the snare the serpent craftily talked was talking with eve and he was and the serpent was asking eve did see did really god tell you not to eat from the fruit of this tree and eve was telling like see god has said you can eat from any of the trees but from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil alone you should not eat nor even touch it but as i told you the serpent being so crafty it again asked uh, eve uh, no 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 see i don't think so if you eat eat if you eat the fruit of this tree you are going to become like god you're going to know the difference between good and evil see when god created man what did god say let us make in man in our image and likeness but here the serpent is totally confusing eve telling you will be like god what did god actually create man like and what is the woman now being tempted into hallelujah now the serpent totally confused her yes now eve is taking this fruit totally deceived she's taking the fruit and she starts to eat it not just that she ate it when adam her husband returned she gave it to him too and the word of god says immediately immediately after adam had eaten the fruit they realized that they both were naked oh god they realized that they both were naked but the real truth was until then they until then they were not ashamed but here once they ate the fruit they say the moment they ate the fruit they they knew that they were naked and they felt ashamed but the word of god yes again records that when god created man and woman yes they were naked but they were not ashamed oh jesus see when something else came in place of god when something else came in place of god when something else entered into the heart that was real that space that was really kept for god see nakedness and ashamedness is coming hallelujah see the word says then the eyes of both of them were opened and they knew that they were naked and they sewed fig leaves together and made themselves loin coverings see until then there was nothing until then god provided until that day god provided they were really enjoying the provision of god but the moment they disobeyed god the moment they allowed something else to enter in the place of god they started to create their own ways man started to create his own ways what did he do he with his hand took the fig leaves and made a covering for himself see this is the way we also do we often cover we often think that we can cover ourselves when we do something sinful when we do something wrong we think that we have covered it but no it is just like 
uh, Adam had covered it with the fig leaves but nothing is hidden from the eyes of God yes God did know everything now God was coming to meet them in the garden of eden at the cool of the day at the cool the word says at the cool of the day god came to meet them and he was calling out adam eve where are you and they were like from uh, from behind the tree they were hiding behind the tree and they were saying see we are naked we cannot come out god asked who told you that you are naked did you eat from the tree that i told you not to eat and yes they started complaints and blaming each other adam said see the woman you gave me the woman you gave me she gave me the fruit and i ate it next the woman starts to blame the serpent the woman is telling see the serpent he tempted me he spoke to me like this he he was very crafty he told me like uh, something 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 and all, and i got deceived into it and next god asked the serpent the serpent uh god cursed the serpent it seems god cursed the serpent hallelujah now we need to really look into ourselves now see there are many things that god had spoken to us many things god has said to us but in all those things have we really run away from god have we really disobeyed god we often say that we love to obey god but when things come into action are we being deceived away by the thoughts of our mind just like the way he was being deceived by the words of the serpent are we being carried away are we being carried away by our thoughts when god says something to us even when god is speaking to you right today i want you to think i want you to surrender your life to god and think whether really are we being carried away from something that god has told us in the past and are we trying to cover ourselves and starting to blame others for our mistakes instead of taking the mistakes on our own i think if adam had confessed god to god god i did a mistake god i did a mistake the scene would have been different i guess but here the blaming uh, adam was blaming eve eve was blaming the blaming the serpent and the things were going like that and god cursed as told you god cursed the serpent yes next god cursed the ground and god put adam and eve out of the garden of eden eden was eden considered every provision that was required for them god when god created man he had every provision he kept everything ready for man jesus hallelujah now both of them both adam and eve being put out of the garden of eden yes life went ahead now adam and eve they were blessed with two children the elder one cain and the other one is abel and as the children grew yes one day cain was bringing offering to uh, offering to god to be submitted to god and he brought offering out of the ground that he tilled he was basically a tiller and abel on the other side he was a farmer and he brought the first born of the sheep the first born of the flock and he brought uh, the fat portions as offerings to god and god and the word of god says god was pleased god was pleased with the offering of abel but god was not pleased with the offering of cain and this created a big anger in the heart of Cain and Cain what did he do he killed his own brother Abel see the disobedience of Adam the disobedience of Adam brought sin into their life 
the one sin of disobedience god commanded and they went away from that word the one word of the one uh, act of disobedience that came into the life or that opened the life for sin into the life into the human mankind next the generation is moving into it now see abel was killed by cain and again god came to adam sorry god came to abel god came to cain yeah and god was asking cain where is your brother where is your brother abel and he started to say is it my duty am i am i his my brother's keeper is it my duty i do not know i do not know where he is see uh adam when god questioned adam he started he started arguing with god once he sinned he started arguing with god he tried to put the blame on god and eve the same thing is being now repeated by uh, cain himself he also started arguing with god he also started uh, taking the responsibility away from him see it is not my responsibility he started to push away everything from him so see so he tried to hide himself again see adam tried to hide himself from god the same thing cain is also trying he tried to hide himself from god now first they were out of the garden of eden but next the record is like cain went out from the presence of god cain went out of the presence of god the greatest blessing that one can get is the presence of god hallelujah hallelujah will you say that and i'm into it amen amen see the greatest blessing that one can get is god himself is the presence of god but cain is having a very 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 bad day now he is now out of the presence of god hallelujah and he settled in the land of nod now see again history kept repeating cain had relationship with his wife and he had children and as his descendants goes by yes they reached a descendant named lamech and it is recorded like this lamech was saying to his wife see i have killed a man for wounding me i have killed a man for wounding me and a boy for striking me king started it and from king's descendant see say i killed lamech selling i killed a man for wounding me and a boy for striking me next this this is one uh genealogy that is going and other side yes we have adam who had relationship with his wife again and to them were born seth and he was telling this seth is one that god has given in the place of abel in the place of abel who was able his worship was the one that was accepted by god his worship was the one accepted by god that was that kind of worship was one that is desired in the heart of god hallelujah so to seth was born enosh seth had child and that child's name was enosh and it was at that time it was at that time the men began to call upon the name of the lord see worship was being restored it was at that point of time that worship was being restored hallelujah yes the worship being restored through the one in the god's plan see worship was being restored in the one, from the one that was inside the god's plan and that was doing the will of god hallelujah again the generations goes by and now we have reached the generation of noah the generation of noah and this generation about this generation god records like this the lord saw that the wickedness of man was great on earth and that every intent of the thoughts of the heart was only evil continually every heart every thought every thought of the evil heart was only evil 
whatever the man thought there was nothing good to be found everything was going on evil again again it's written like this now the earth was corrupt now the earth was corrupt in the sight of god and earth was filled with violence god looked on the earth and behold it was corrupt for all the flesh had corrupted the way upon the earth all the flesh had corrupted their way upon the earth this god this is the word of god hallelujah and when we come to the new testament when you come to the new testament in the book of luke chapter 17 the book of luke chapter 17 was 26 and 27 jesus was uh, giving a reply to the pharisees question and this he is replying to the disciples when he was speaking with them he was giving his answer as a continuing answer he was saying to his disciples see as je- and just as it happened in the days of noah see jesus is comparing the present age to a period uh, uh, that was in the past that was in the past okay so jesus is saying see as just and just as it in the days of noah so it will be also in the days of the son of man they were eating they were drinking they were marrying they were give, being given in marriage until that day noah entered the ark god is comparing the two seasons and two periods though there is a great number of years between this god was comparing the uh, period of that son of man's return with that of noah again uh we see paul writing to timothy paul was writing to timothy and he is giving a, a more deeper picture into this in the book of second timothy chapter 3 verses 1 to 5 see paul says realize this that in the last days difficult times will come for men will be lovers of self lovers of money boastful arrogant revilers disobedient to parents ungrateful unholy unloving irreconcilable malicious gossip without self control brutal haters of good treacherous reckless conceited lovers of pleasure rather than lovers of god paul is writing this to timothy and he is writing this saying as this will be the days as in the days as in the last days hallelujah what a great comparison one with the period of noah and one at the present age that we are now see isn't the word of god so true when we look around aren't we fear aren't we seeing people who are lovers of self are we really uh seeing our pleasure in god or are we seeing our pleasure in the world around god created everything yes god created and everything and he was then god was giving himself for us first second the things around us but what happened was the moment the god man's eyes went away from god and went into something that was created the first priority in man went for the created thing or went for the creation rather than for the creator today are we running behind something that was created or are we running behind the one who has created them? are we running behind the uh, the things that we see good to the eyes or are we running behind the one who created us are we lovers of pleasure or really lovers of god see the period men will be lovers of self lovers of money disobedient to parents ungrateful are we grateful today unholy are we holy today do we really give priority to be holy and to be pure hallelujah malicious gossip without self control brutal haters of good 
See? This is the period that is really right now today. And God, yes, let me remind, let me come back to the word. And God is saying and comparing these two periods. But, but, God, even though he saw that during the generation of Noah, that everything was wicked, all the human minds was corrupt. God found one person. God found one person. In the book of Genesis chapter 6, verse 8 and 9, he says, But Noah found favor in the eyes of God. Noah found favor in the eyes of God. What was so special about Noah? What was so special about Noah? Noah was a righteous man. He was blameless in his time. Noah walked with God. Hallelujah. Will you repeat it with me? Noah walked with God. Once again, Noah walked with God. Oh, say it once again. Noah walked with God. Hallelujah. See, what did God see in Noah? Noah was a righteous man. God saw him blameless in his time. When everything was corrupted around him, when everything was going bad around him, God did not see that those things in Noah. God saw him blameless. He had the heart to walk with God. Noah found the heart to walk with God. Hallelujah. And now God is saying to Noah, Noah, this is my word to you. Go and make an ark of gopher wood. See, I'm giving you the dimensions, the measurements, everything. This is the exact measurement and plan in which you have to make an ark. I am going to to send a flood. I'm going to send a flood and destroy every human mankind that is on this earth. I'm bringing the flood of water upon the earth to destroy all flesh in which is the breath of life. And verse 6, 22 and Genesis 7, 5 says, Thus Noah did according to all that God has commanded him. The one speciality of Noah he did everything as what God commanded him. He did, not, he did not manipulate anything what God told him. When he was creating the ark, he was doing exactly as what God had told him. And that is exactly why it is written, Noah did everything, everything as what God told him. Today, when we receive the word of God, when God speaks to us today, let me ask you brothers and sisters are we doing it exactly as what God said or do we put our uh, mixes into it do we put our thoughts into it do we put our plans and actions into it no when God says something God demands of us that we should do it exactly as he says and true blessing and the true reward of what God said, we can find it in that alone. When God promises something, it is so sure, be assured that he will bring it into fulfillment. But there is always a condition that you should do it as God demands it. And Noah also when preaching around. The second Peter says, Noah was a uh, preacher of righteousness he was preaching around but there was no one no one to listen to the words of Noah and repent none of the people repented hallelujah and one more thing I want to remind you is when God was telling Noah see Noah I'm going to send a flood I'm going to send rain the greatest thing I mean the one thing that you should know when I say preach this is See, until then there was no flood. Until then there was no rain. And Noah was uh, obeying and listening to the word, uh, to what God has said. When God was telling him, I'm going to send a flood. He did not have a picture of what a flood will be. He just obeyed what God said. See, today the Lord is calling each and every one of us to walk in his ways 
and noah now has created had built the ark and god told him noah you your wife your three sons and their wives noah his wife the three sons of noah and the three wives of his sons so total eight eight persons were entering into the ark and god also told him instructions as to what animals has to be brought in noah again did exactly as what god had told him and now noah along with his wife and his children and their wives and along with the animals that god had commanded him has entered into the ark and god closed the door of the ark noah built the ark but it was god who shut the door of the ark the hand of the god came down hallelujah see the lord closed behind it behind him the lord closed the door of the ark and today god is calling you yes brothers and sisters god is calling you to enter into the ark see let me bring you to one more verse before i go for her ahead it's in the book of hebrews chapter 11 verse 7 the book of hebrews chapter 11 verse 7 by faith see this is what uh, i was telling until now by faith noah being warned by god about things not yet seen in reverence prepared an ark for the salvation of his household by which he condemned the world and became an heir of righteousness which is according to faith oh did you understand i don't know i'll take it bit by bit see by faith noah by faith he moved by faith he took an action by faith faith not on himself but on god he was on being warned by god about the things not yet seen as i told you the flood is something that he had not yet seen rain is something that he had not yet seen but because of what god said he is taking an action he is moving ahead in reverence for god he prepared an ark for the salvation of his household by which he condemned the world and he became what did what did that that what did that one obedience when he obeyed god what did that bring on to him he became an heir of righteousness he became an heir of righteousness which is according to faith hallelujah see that relation in being right into which god puts the person who has faith that is righteousness righteousness is nothing that he's that one person is being that relationship is being put right into which god puts the person who has faith hallelujah see now ada uh, i mean noah was moved by faith and it was the grace of god that came over him when he acted in that faith the love of god came upon him the love of god came upon him when he started to move in faith and I'm, i'm reminding you again that period where everyone was turning away from god that one man when he gave an heart for god god is planning a great future out of this one noah dear brother dear sister when you have when you are willing today to give your heart to god you see when you are surrendering for god when you are surrendering for yourself for god when you are giving your heart for god you should not be looking around as to what others are doing that relationship is being open between you and god that relationship is being open between you and god and it is by god's grace it's god's grace it is by god's grace that you are being saved it is not by any of your work this is one thing that the world thinks today if i do something right i can please god if through my acts i can aim uh, i can receive the grace of god but the word of god clearly clearly says it is not by your works 
but it is by God's grace alone that you are saved and what is grace it is unmerited favor a favor that we receive even though we are not eligible to it a favor that we receive even though we are not qualified for it it comes from god hallelujah and noah he found this favor in the eyes of god noah he was right he was he has been found righteous he was found blameless he was walking with god hallelujah he had the heart for god he had the heart to obey god he just didn't have the heart to obey god but he literally he literally obeyed god we say we we want to obey god i wish i obeyed god but here noah is a role model of obeying god hallelujah and he just did not, i mean he was just not obeying god god did not see oh he is a wonderful child he keeps obeying me but god counted him as righteous hallelujah and he was counted righteous through his faith he was counted righteous through his faith and again the perfect definition of faith is given in the book of hebrews chapter 11 verses 1 it says faith is the assurance of things hoped for faith is the assurance of things hoped for and conviction of things not yet seen hallelujah faith is the assurance of things hoped for and conviction of things not seen and i was going through the meaning of conviction and say it says like this the state of mind of a person who is sure that what he or she believes or says is true the state of mind of a person it's just in the state of mind okay it's he, it is not yet seen the state of mind of a person who is sure that what he or she believes what he or she believes believes or says is true this is the definition of faith let me uh, just rewind once again and tell you see noah he heard what god said he had not seen he moved in faith he had the reverence for god he moved in faith of what god told him and what was the reason of his faith nothing 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 he walked with god he knew the one who he is he has put his faith is true today today when you say that yes i call upon this name of the lord this is the lord that who saves me i believe jesus i believe this wonderful god when you say this today let me ask you one thing do you have that faith in him do you have that faith in him are we moving in faith see god wants you to personalize him in his, in your life and you should not be moving by the faith that you see in others life but put that faith into action in your life just like noah was walking with god move your day with god start your day with god start walking with god if you had not been doing in the past days come on do it right now right now right today today right now that call is upon you if you're hearing my word today that call is upon you today god is calling you to walk with him and definitely when you're walking with god things are going to change hallelujah those who entered the ark were saved those who entered the ark were saved noah and his family they entered the ark the flood came the flood came god opened the waters from under the ground over or from the sky and it started flooding everywhere every human man kind was destroyed everything that was that was having breath of life on earth everything was perished but noah and his family and all those animals that were inside the ark they were saved ark shows the way of salvation and the true revelation of the ark today is nothing other than christ himself 
the ark represents christ the ark was the more see in uh, hebrews 11 7 as we had as we have read noah prepared an ark for the salvation of his household for the salvation of his household in the same way this ark jesus christ is the salvation is this way salvation is the only way of salvation for you and your household yes dear brother and sister see acts 4:12 says and there is salvation in no one else in no other name for there is no other name under heaven that has been given among men by which we must be saved hallelujah there is no other name no other person under heaven that has been given among men by which we will be saved the ark was the mode of salvation Let me remind: Christ is that ark. Christ is the ark through which you and I will be saved today. Just as Noah and his family, hearing the word of God, hearing what God has said, had entered into the ark. Today, that question is being put forward to you, brother. The question is being put forward to you, dear sister. Will you enter this ark? Will you enter this ark today? Will you receive this Christ today? This invitation is open to you, to everyone who has not received Christ in his life, or who has been hearing about Christ over the last days, over the last years, but has not accepted him. In John chapter ten, verses nine says, Jesus says, "See, I am the door. I am the door." and if anyone enters through me he will be saved i am the door and if anyone enters through me he will be saved jesus see the wages of sin is death the wages of sin is death and life is through jesus alone yes the penalty of sin is death and we need to know that we were all born sin David in Psalms 51 says My mother conceived me in sin from the day I was born I was yeah let me tell let me take it uh, you to Psalms 51 was 5 for I was born a sinner yes from the moment my mother conceived me yeah I was born a sinner from the mo- yes from the moment my mother conceived me see from that moment from Adam the sin entered it did not stop over there it went on into generations into generations it came even in the period of noah it came in the period of david yes and it has come at our times also the sin even prevails right now and it is our choice whether to choose the sinful life or whether to choose the way of salvation God from the garden of eden had given the right to choose they chose wrongly and they had to pay the penalty for it today you also have the right to choose you have the way of salvation here the way of the world and which one are you willing to choose today see jesus said i am the door if anyone enters through me he will be saved and i let me tell you see when when he says you will be saved the first thing is yes on this earth on this earth on the life of earth you will be saved how see just as in the days of noah we have read that everything was wicked around him but god is going to provide his protection god is going to give his covering onto you to keep you away from the sinful life the moment you understand and repent and surrender your life to god the moment you realize that i don't want the sinful life you repent of the sinful life and you want a life with god to walk with god god is giving you his provision he is going to give his protection from the sinful treacherous life he is going to guide you he is going to lead you he is going to protect you he is going to counsel you 
see it does not say, it does not mean that you are not going to have any more troubles or even it's not going like it's not like uh, you are not going to face any more problems yes the problems might come yes the troubles might come but the way it was you see you used to see that problem in the past and the way you're going to see the problem with jesus in front of you is going to be different is going to be entirely different previously it was you who was doing it just like adam tried to cover himself with the fig leaves instead of depending on god yes until the last days you were trying to do something of your own trying to cover it but what did god do he kill he took the skin of an animal and made a clothing for adam and eve in the same way god will cover you the blood of jesus is going to cover you and this blood is the one that is saving you this blood that was poured on the cross of calvary is the redeeming blood is the payment to redeem you from the sinful life yes first you are saved on this earth god's provision is coming to you second you are being saved from the eternal hell and i need to tell this truth to you today there is a great eternal hell that is going to come up dear brothers and sisters we might we might just uh you know uh leave it off jokingly but no today today let me remind you there is a way of redemption from this hell from this eternal hell from this eternal disaster if you accept this jesus christ into your life if you enter into his ark today morning if you're ready to surrender your life today morning the life is going to change it is not going to be like it was days in the past jesus said i am the way the truth and the life I am the way the truth and the life and no one comes to the father except through me Let me tell you this the lord is going to come again the lord is going to come again for the lord himself will descend from heaven the first Thessalonians chapter 4 verse 16 and 17 for the lord himself will descend from heaven with a shout with the voice of an archangel and with the trumpet of god and the dead in Christ will rise first then we who are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the lord in the air and thus we shall always be with the lord hallelujah and thus we shall always be with the lord amen see for the lord himself will descend from heaven he is going to come back again there is no doubt there is no doubt the word the bible See I I say it's like this it is the book the only book that has history it is the only book that has that has written about the present and it is the only book that has been that has written about the future and everything the what the bible has said has come out true and today let me tell you one more truth my jesus is going to return again and the first and all those when he returns and all those who are dead in Christ see in Christ the dead in Christ will rise first and then all who are alive and remain will be caught up see in Christ this is the word that i want to put in in front of you now right now in Christ in the ark dear brothers and sisters come on come on are you are you are you willing to accept this way of salvation are you willing to enter into the ark the world around you see god is telling everything everything in the times of noah is equated with the times of now everything is equated and god is clearly saying noah was there found who was a man who found favor he was found blameless he was found righteous because he walked with god 
it's a great reward and today if you are willing to walk with god if you are willing to accept him in your life the great ark is open in front of you hallelujah would you close your eyes would you close your eyes and would you surrender your lives to him right now everybody who has been hearing my word hearing what god has been speaking to you today morning if you really understand that christ is the way of salvation and if you want to accept him into your life today come on this is the moment and again i call out to everyone who's listening to me you had received christ in the past days but today you are totally turning away from him and today if you feel that you want to come back to god just like noah was walking with god if you're surrender your life right now to him tell god father i have been living a sinful life i have been i have been a person who was a lover of pleasure i was not a lover of god but yes in my heart now i seek god i need to be in the love of god i am in the search of love of god this call is for you today accept jesus the moment you accept jesus the moment you take him as your savior the moment you accept him lord over your life you are under his covering and protection keen was put out from the presence of god but you are entering into the presence of god today yes you are entering into the presence of god today hallelujah you are entering into the presence of god today hey, right now open your mouth open your mouth open your mouth and tell him lord take control over my life take that lordship over my life and lord just as noah has been obeying you has received your command and has been moving in your word give me that heart oh lord to receive your word to listen to your word carefully and just as noah had been doing everything as god has commanded lord help me to do everything as you have been commanding me to do hallelujah rathala rahashikal manasika rudaba rigatuna aptala rimana raptala rimasse khetika raudaba riba prabudaba ramtheli rahasikala baudabati arthal mana jada thikara shandal rage jada skiala baba father lord i surrender everybody who is listening to this word right now jesus you are the way of salvation and this word has been released today morning father but everyone who has heard this lord pierce their heart father let this word pierce their heart let this word make a seat for you oh lord help them to understand that you alone are the way of salvation it is through you that we are being saved that it is through you that we have life jesus it is by the by your blood that we are being redeemed lord father lord i bless everybody everybody who's who has been listening to this word lord you had a lot of plans when you made us but we all have been moving away from it but just as noah has been walking with you oh lord father god help us to walk with you help us father to walk with you help us oh lord give us a strong firm decision lord help us to take that strong firm decision father and it is your promise and it is your promise to give the holy spirit to your children who is who are receiving you the holy spirit who is the perfect help the holy spirit who is being the perfect comforter 
whom who is the perfect partner in my weaknesses who corrects my weaknesses who takes over my weakness the holy spirit who is being with me who is walking with me and who is guiding me the way of god and open 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 that way of father not in the coming days all those who have received this word all those who had lord received you lord the days are going to change the days are going to be fruitful of oh father just as you have promised in the beginning be fruitful all those who have received you are going to be fruitful of oh father your life is going to change and i give everyone into your mighty hands in jesus mighty name we pray amen 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 dear brothers and sisters I believe many of you have surrendered your life to him or at least many of you have rethought of coming back to Christ again this way is open to you and until Christ returns it is a great promise that God himself will protect you on this earth the great sovereign lord will protect you his counsel will be there for you his provision is there for you all you need is to accept him hallelujah i'm sure that god has blessed you today i'm sure that the wonderful presence of god is filling your homes right now hallelujah see we have our numbers uh, displayed over there in the comment box if you have any questions any queries or if you have uh, any prayer requests do send us your prayer requests do send us your queries we are there to help you we are there to pray for you we are there to answer any of your queries hallelujah stay blessed amen in the name of the father lord i surrender everybody hallelujah everybody once again into your hands may the love of god the father may the grace of the son jesus christ and the ever comforting presence of the holy spirit be with each and every one of us everyone who has been receiving this word who has been receiving this word online for now and forevermore in jesus mighty name amen 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 god bless you all